I'm almost this 78 years old. So, Uncle David, both of us came to watch the car because it's in a pathetic condition. So here, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are enjoying the series of exploring the Eastern Nagaland. Today, it is a new day and we are here back in Twinsang and we are moving off to Sangsangyu to my mom's old place where she lived there in the 1960s and 70s with, his, uh, with my grandpa and then it's been almost 50 years she didn't uh, visit the place and we are going back to that place after 50 years so let's see how it goes enjoy the rest of the video and to those who are new here my name is Roman Pongoner I hope you guys are enjoying my content do subscribe to my channel press that like button share it with your loved ones I hope you guys learn something new from this channel this vlog it's gonna be a really emotional one because my mom is reuniting with her memories after so long so just stick to the end of the video you'll really love this content a miracle happened when we were going down the road we met an old man and then it seems he was grandpa's old mali and he still remembers him and he said his name look at this video and then here we are just asking him do you remember the house that he was living in and he was just directing that down there is the house So this was the house back in the 60s. This was the first house. There's also another house where my mom recollects most of the memories. My mom doesn't remember this house because she was only around five years old when she visit. She was here, like I think not even five years old. She was younger than the, in the new house only. She was around five years old, and my uncles and all were also like fifteen years old. So everyone was very young, and then my mom was definitely really young, and she doesn't remember this house prop that well. And then this house have so many and memories for my uncles and aunties. My uncle also told me a story where he nearly got burned and also nearly got the house burned back then because he mistakenly poured petrol instead of kerosene in the kerosene lamp and then that's how he nearly got burned nah? but he was saved miraculously by God nah, at that time and even my uncle Takatim Jin Ao if you guys I think most of you guys might know him he started his music career he started writing his songs in this house back then 50 years back and this house have a lot of memories <laughs> and look at the condition now it's almost worn down it's almost in ruins now seems this was my mom's place in the 1970s she was living in this tiny little cabin which is all a ruin now so we just came to this village back in the 70s when my mom was just 78 years old she was living here so we're just going up to another house we don't we're not sure what which one is it check it out so Our. this was grandpa's office the block development officer's office back in the 70s and then this is this office is not functioning anymore 
I don't know what's the reason, but I, uh, the villagers told that the main they function from Twinsang Town only. So the offices are all back in Twinsang Town, and then this office is not functioning functioning anymore. And then we just looked around the place because we were searching for the second house, and we we're still not able to find it. And then just watch the rest of the video, and then we'll show you around the second house. Look at the condition of this office. To be honest, for a office that has been standing since the 1960s, it's really in a good condition. Look at the wood. These are well seasoned wood that they used back then. Look at it. Even till date, no termites have eaten the wood because the quality of wood that they use is really Grandpa's good. Office. This was Grandpa's office back then. Is it not? office function no, no, office no, office no, 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 I think it's not functioning. I'll buy them Hang on, hang on. 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 ไอ้เหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยมาเหี้ยม
Look at this. My mom was just explaining it, there was the garden where grandpa used to work. And then, yeah, she was just saying that these furnitures may be used back then by grandpa. We're not sure. All these tables, all these furnitures. She was saying she kind of recollects it. I'm not sure. She's also not sure about that, but all these furnitures that was in the house is really quite old. Yeah. Mom recollects how those days it was really far for her to come from the office till the house and then she was saying grandpa used to walk to the office from the house and then that's the office that we went just a while back from there grandpa used to go come like that We made some few calls and after some persistence, we found out that my grandpa's driver was still alive and not living too far from us. And we were very thrilled to hear that he was doing well and he agreed to meet us and to share some stories about grandpa. In the next video, we'll be sharing the conversation that we had with him and some amazing stories from the past. You won't want to miss it. So make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next part of this incredible story. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.